Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I feel like this is a video that not a lot of people do. So let's make something different. This is why I want to really make my YouTube channel pop for 2020. I was watching a video on my Zodiac sign, just trying to figure out like what's next for me. So I have this palette. I've had it for a while, right? I've had it, what, almost two weeks. I literally have a, a back and forth with it <laughs> because um, the greens are not my favorite. Um, the pinks are pretty. Um, they're not as vibrant as I want them to be, unfortunately. And I am mid-beat, <laughs> a little baby beat of me doing um, D1, which I'll show on the, on, the, on the screen. And then I was gonna put B5 um, above to really like soften up the orange. So I'm just gonna chit chat and see if this palette works for me. There's nothing really special about this video. I was really in the mood to record. I had been wanting to record all day. It's now six o'clock at night in my apartment and I'm just chilling. So you'll hear me talking and uh, yeah. Um, so today I called it work. I was not in the mood to go to work today. I had a bunch of sick hours, and what's the point of sick hours if you can't use them for? A mental health day. Clean, um, fluffy brush, and just dip a little bit into B5. Um, and just, I just wanted to put it over what I used to conceal my brows, and just soften it up just a tad. I'm putting D4, which you'll see on the screen, um, on the lid because I am in a shimmer mood. I am packing, pressing, whatever you want to use of this decade, this last decade. I think packing was like the year for 2014 till now when girls are applying shimmer, I want to say. Um, it's not really giving me life yet. Um, so my homie has this palette and he says that he loves it. Um, those aren't really colors that he would use, but... I really wanted the palette to like be everything and more. I will say E3 is nice. I'm gonna keep it because it's special to me. Um, because this isn't, it's special to me because I don't even own any fucking colors like this. Furthermore, I am overly optimistic about everything. <laughs> and in my mind, shit gonna work. She gonna work out. I really want this Jouer powder. My friend from Fenty said she would order it for me because she would get like 30% off. And not that I need any more. I always need more makeup. But okay, this is actually coming out really pretty. Yeah, this is really gorgeous. You know what? It's a perfect, like, if you wanted to really get in, this is one of my best purchases of 2019. My best purchase of 2019 makeup wise is the M Morphe M562. It's so fucking tiny, like a little baby. A little tiny baby. And you dip it into, like, a color that you want to get right above where the shimmer is going. And that's a trick for hooded eyes, ladies. Hooded eyes is it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All I want to do is zoom, zoom. The reason that I'm bringing in E2 is because my eye eats up so much of the eyeshadow that I want to add this in slowly and build it up. Just a tad. Just a tad. Just fucking tired. So this is definitely like your, um, like cranberry colors, cranberry fall vibes. Technically, it's still fall here in New York City. And what are we in the northern hemisphere? Yeah. I'm just like buffing this in so that it looks decent. I apologize for not starting this video like the right way, which is like, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. But 
I feel like the reason people follow me is because I'm different. I'm di There's so much like I feel like no matter how lightly I tap into this product, it's just kickback. I have come to accept that about Anastasia products. I want to um try her. F oh, that's what I should do in the next video. Okay. I kept saying that I wanted to do um another sample Monday. Yeah, I should do that soon. Okay. Just get in there a little higher. A little higher. A little higher. A little higher. A little higher than that. So far I'm really liking the eye look. I am going to do my foundation off camera and then we'll do the rest of it uh, on camera and then I can give my final thoughts because this will probably be my third time using the palette. I used it um, yesterday and I'll talk about that after I'm done doing my foundation. E -O -E. So, we're working on her. We're working on her. She's working. I think the green and I just wasn't on the same page and... I can't be mad. It's just what it is. It sucks though because I feel that, um, I mean, it's a really pretty palette. What we're going to do now, I put on foundation. You guys know I wear the same foundation. I've probably been wearing it for like two years strong. I'm OG with it, which is, um, Milk Makeup Cinnamon. Anything I'm wearing on my face, I will list below. I set my under eye with this Makeup Forever. Uh, super matte loose powder and I used an OG sponge like like I'm still in college or something when I used to do <laughs> makeup and um, I'm just adding a little bit more of D1 and um, into the eye and I'm just extending it like where my my brow is my brow bone is and I'll go in just with a little bit of B5 at the tops just to make sure we don't lose that color nothing too fucking crazy um, um i'm gonna smudge e2 into um the lash line and try to connect it i just created the only line <laughs> and try to connect it wait am i on camera i was so annoyed that i did that last time i was like okay so why would anybody watch this shit if I'm not even on camera. Like what? That doesn't make sense. Um, let's see. Oh, to the dog is choking. Um, and I'm gonna use my Dior pencil so that I can really smoke this all up. I'm watching you! As you can see, <clears throat> I'm just adding more of D1 because I think that's enough of, I feel like that's enough of the uh, brown color. See the difference? Like I added E2 right here and then this is E2 with D1. I kind of like this together. I'm gonna add just a little bit of E2 to this eye. And then we're gonna go back in. I don't know where the shader brush is from, is it? Probably. We're gonna add a little bit of D1. Paula is just sitting right here, like she don't know what the other dog is doing. Um, I do enjoy the palette. I think that I'm going to keep it. It is pretty gorgeous. I just need to figure out you know, when I called my makeup friends for the makeup emergency, they were like, oh, just use a white base, works out, keep it. Because what I wanted to get was Mercury Ratch Gear, and they said no. So, I'm going to try to work with it. It's a really pretty palette. I'm glad that the shimmers work for me. I think I look gorgeous in these colors. Um, I will try to add a clip of my final look because my battery is dying and I just need another battery. Um, so that I can switch that out but I like this palette it, it worked well I think the greens just need a little bit of work the B3 and C2 which I'll put in right here um, are really pretty colors and I used them for the shoot yesterday I'll, I'll put a picture that I have um, 
I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. I didn't take like a great photo, but um, they are really pretty. They packed on really well. The only thing is that they stained my skin. So that's my thing. So I'm going to wrap up this video, guys, because my battery's dying and a bitch needs a new one. And I'm so happy to be back to say that ABH Volume 3 Novena Collection is brown girl skin approved.